Welcome, Namaste, and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. In this video, we are going to discuss on a very important scientific topic, and the topic is undescended testis. So, what are the causes of undescended tes testis? What you know? What uh, happens if you have an undescended testis? What happens if you actually cannot feel your you know testis in in the sac or in your scrotum? And uh, how does undescended testis you know actually lead to male infertility? So basically, what's important to understand here uh, is that you know undescended undescended testis is a clinical condition that is seen in some individuals. And in this particular condition, what basically happens is the testis is not present in the sac that is the scrotal sac. So. The testis is normally located in a in the scrotal sac, scrotal sac outside the body in order to maintain a lower temperature of about one degree less than the core body temperature in order to support optimal sperm production. Yes, so spermatozoa actually require a much lower temperature, which which is lesser than the you know. Um, the body core body temperature in order to have you know in order to have healthy sperm production the temperature must be low so that's why this, the testis has been evolutionarily been adapted and so it is present outside the body in some patients basically what happens is uh, the testis is not descent at the time of birth and basically these patients what happens is these patients are diagnosed with what's called as undescended testicle or the condition name is also called as crypt orchidism so with such patients fertility becomes a challenge because Say the patient was born with an undescended testis, right? If both the testis didn't descend into the sac and if that was missed at birth, when the patient becomes an adult, most probably he will not have any sperm production at all because the testis that does not descend cannot function. It's as simple as that. So if the, the testis might be located inside the abdomen, the testis may be located somewhere in the inguinal canal, any part of the body, it may be located. But if the testis is not in the sac, it's not going to lead to healthy sperm production and in some cases nil sperm production and no sperm production at all is going to be seen and these patients are going to have lifelong infertility. We see patients in our clinic routinely with undescended testicle and it's a very sad story because we have seen some patients with bilateral undescended testis. Now these are healthy appearing men. The undescended testis was missed at birth by the treating doctor or by the treating pediatrician and 20 years later the man realizes that he doesn't have his testis he doesn't have two testes in his sac. You know, he realizes this after taking a semen analysis or doing or after doing a testis self-assessment check at home, he realizes that the testis is not in the sac and he comes to comes for an infertility treatment. There's nothing much we can offer here because if both testes are not in the sac, most probably natural fertility is not possible. Now there's another condition called now this is called bilateral undescended testis. Now there's another condition called unilateral undescended testis. Although more rarely seen. In some patients, one testis is present in the sac, whereas the other testis is present somewhere up, you know, in the abdomen or in the inguinal canal, or it even may be retracted in some individuals. Now, unilateral undescended testis is a reasonably good, uh, has a reasonably good prognosis. Why? Because if there's one testis that is descent into the sac, it's going to function normally. But for such men, you know, if they do a, when they're doing a self-assessment of the testis, testis size at home and they realize there's only one testis in the sac, what has to be done for such men is that a thorough premarital assessment, fertility assessment has to be done. That is, an assessment of their sperm production, their uh, sex hormones, male sex hormones should definitely be done to see whether the whether the testis that has whether the testis in the sac is actually functional. This is because scientific studies have actually suggested that usually in patients who have a history of undescended testis, even the testis that has descent into the sac may not function properly. Moreover, there is a small risk of testicular cancer in patients who have undescended testis. That the risk is usually 1 in 3000 individuals or 1 in 2500 men. There is a risk of testicular germ cell cancer. So, but that does not mean we recommend all patients to go for a surgical removal of the testis. The patient has to be counseled and you know told this particular point as far as the, that, that there is a small risk of testicular germ cell cancer. And in very select indications, we advise the patients to undergo a testicular removal, especially if it is present inside the abdomen. But most of the time what happens is, at least from my clinical experience what I have seen is, in patients who have undescended testis, when we do an MRI or a CT scan to see where the testis is in the abdomen, mostly we don't even find any testis. And some patients who have, uh, you know, one side descent testis, the other testis might have been removed at birth for some other reason because of torsion or uh, it may, might have had some, some other complication might have occurred and they would have removed it anyway by the pediatric surgeon. So undescended testis is something that you should, you know, not, you cannot take it easily at all. 
and it has to be treated it has to be properly evaluated and um, uh, please you can you can check whether both your testes are in the sac by doing a self assessment it's very simple gently all you have to do is you know gently feel uh, feel the presence of both your testes in the sac gently palpate and see if you can feel two soft ball like structures in the sac it's very easy you can do a self check at home and if by any chance you notice that your testis is not in the sac please visit your nearby andrologist and get evaluated for a possible suspected undescended testis i hope you like this video do comment like and subscribe share this video with all your friends and loved ones this is dr shah barak and see you soon again